Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here from the Blinks team, and I am doing a mod installation tutorial for Minecraft. I'm going to be doing two mods today, Too Many Items and Rees Minimap. So I'm going to start off with Rees Minimap, but if you want to skip to Too Many Items, then just click in the description. I think it'll be there. Um, so the links to download these two mods here and here are will be in the description. And also, you will pretty much need, well, to make it easy, this little tool right here called the Unarchiver. You don't need it, but I think it makes it really easy, and it's a free application. Uh, you'll need to download it once, and yeah, so let's get started. So once you've downloaded these two folders from the description below, we're going to install Rees Minimap first, which is this like bracket one. So double click to open it up. Also this is for Minecraft 1.0, so like the full version. So open it up and you'll see all these files in here. Now you don't need to worry about them, they might look fancy to you, but don't worry, they're not. So open up this file and you can just keep it there and then open up your Macintosh HD. Now go to your user, which is this little home button on the side. It will have a little house next to it. My user is anonymous, just for personal reasons. But you just go to your user and then find the folder called library. Double click library. And then go over to application support. Double click application support. And then go to Minecraft. Now you'll probably have to scroll down a bit and just find Minecraft. So then double click it to open it up and you get bin, last login option, resource saves, all that stuff. Go into bin. Now you'll see these .jar files. Now you'll see one called Minecraft.jar. So you want to right click on it and then see open with the unarchiver. That's what I use. So the unarchiver you want to make sure you click that one and it will create a folder called Minecraft right there. Now rename this folder here Minecraft back up jar. So this is a backup. So if anything goes wrong with it, don't panic. Your stuff will be backed up. Dot jar. Rename the folder Minecraft.jar and push add. Okay? Now you got this. So open it up. Now you want to go back into your slash one folder, highlight everything in the folder, copy them, copy, and then right click in here, paste. And it will say, would you like to replace? Just press replace. And there you go. They're copied in. Um, and that is actually how you install Minimap. So you can skip to the end of the video if that's the only thing you wanted, where I'll demonstrate it, but now I'll install too many items. So in your Minecraft.jar thing, you want to open up too many items, highlight everything here, copy them in here, paste them in here, and push replace. Okay? So now you got all your files in your Minecraft.jar. So that is how to install those two mods, and we'll just go right ahead, and we'll test them out for you. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. So we'll just quickly generate a new world. Okay, here we go. So um, it, as you can see already in the top right corner, we have a little mini map with my guy on it looking around. You can see the arrow. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's Minimap, and if you go into your inventory, we'll just full screen this, actually. You can see this is too many items. So, you can just go next, and you can see all the items in the full version of Minecraft right here. Oh, and here's all the potions. Um, yeah, it's really nifty. And up here, you have delete mode, creative mode, rain, set time, set time, set time. So say I click that, 
it will set the time to midnight. Or if I want a day, it sets the time to day. Um, delete mode. I'm pretty sure that means if you have stuff in here and you turn on delete mode, it deletes them. So you can shut that off. Creative mode obviously makes this your creative mode. You can shut it on and off. Rain is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, and you can go M and there is the map. You can get waypoints. Um, yeah, so that is how that works. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and if there's any mods you would like or if you had trouble installing this mod, make sure you just leave me a comment because I will get back to you. And if you want another mod, then write it in the in the in the comment section. Sorry. So we'll see you next time.